Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Scepter OS. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to my channel. Remember, it doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Scepter OS comes in the KDE desktop. We're going to open this up real quick. It comes with the Tor browser as your internet browser. And the Tor browser is an interesting browser. It lets you search the web completely anonymously with the Onion Network. We'll get into more of that here in a second. But this is Scepter's website, built on Stable Debian, KDE Plasma, and Tor Technologies. And when you scroll down here, it just basically says that it's an operating system that provides users with a perfect computing environment for surfing the internet anonymously. Scepter provides users with a stable and reliable distribution that is based on Debian and works on a wide range of computers. It's got the Linux kernel 5.10, Plasma 5.20. And there's some of the screenshots, but we don't need those because we are actually in the operating system. So let's close out of this. And here's what you're met with when you boot it up on a live USB or you have it in a virtual machine. Very beautiful background right off the bat. Let's go ahead and right click and see if we can change the background. It's got the Scepter background that we currently have. And then it comes with a variety of different Debian wallpapers, which I think is awesome because it is based on Debian. So let's go with a darker Debian and let's apply that. And there we go. As you can see, you got the same functionality. It is KDE Plasma. So if we want to make the panel a little bigger, all we got to do is right click, edit panel. Let's go ahead and run that up a little bit so it's easier to see. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Down here on the bottom right, you got your time, of course. You got your hidden icons, which was notification, K organizer, clipboard, and KDE Connect. Sound, internet, USB keyboard layout, USB, battery, and then your weather where you are. I'm not going to change that. It's in Celsius. I'm just going to go over here and let's open up the application. Let's go ahead and right click, show alternatives, and we're going to go with the application menu instead. So let's open that up. Up here, you've got your Tor browser, which we're going to discuss here in a second. You got your system settings, Dolphin file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. Here's your Dolphin file manager. I do like the icon set that they have in it. You got desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, video, trash, and there is your Dolphin file manager. Very beautiful looking file manager. I do like the icons that they have up here. You if you want to make these bigger so you can see them a little better, all you got to do is come to the slider, drag it up just a little bit, and it will make them bigger. And then you've got your usual suspects over here. Now, if you're like me and you don't want a lot of this, all you got to do is like on recent, if you don't want to show that, just right click and then put hide and it'll go away. Same for search for, so that's hidden. And I want to make those icons a little bigger. So you come in this area down here, right click, icon size, they're on small, medium. I want to go with large and it makes them a little bigger and easier for you to see. But that is Dolphin File Manager. It's consistent across KDE. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Back up here, let's go to system settings. Let's see if it comes with a dark mode. See if we can change that over. Global theme. And right now we're in the scepter. Let's go ahead and switch it over to breeze dark. Let's apply that. And there we go. We now have the dark theme. Let's go ahead and bump them fonts up so it's a little bit easier to see. I want to do them all. So click on size, go down. Let's make it 14 and let's apply apply. There we go. Now the fonts are a little bigger and we can see easier. So let's close back out of that. Let's go up here. You've got Kate. you got your Tor browser, which we already spoke of. Console. Let's see what kind of resources we're using. I've got two gigabytes issued to this system and at rest right now, we are using 889 megabytes of the two gigs that I've issued, which is really good. It's lightweight. It's less than a gig. So that means it's going to be just fine running on a lower spec system. This one right here that I've given it in virtual box is two CPUs and two gigabytes of RAM. So that way you can see how snappy it is on a low resource computer. Then you got System Monitor, Root Dolphin Manager, Synaptic Package Manager. Synaptic is a great package manager. For those of you familiar with Debian, you know what Synaptic is. It's pretty easy to use and you look over here and it's got the little Debian logo. You're going to have nothing but stable Debian to pull from so you don't have to worry about the chance of downloading something and breaking your system. Let's just go over here to Video Software, pull that up. Let's do a search real quick. OBS Studio and right there, OBS, all you would do is click on that. Mark for installation. It'll tell you the dependencies that it needs. You click Mark for those and then you come up here where it says apply and you would click apply to install it that's pretty easy to do right there let's go ahead and quit that now you go over to graphics graphics you get gimp gwynview k color chooser LibreOffice straw ocular scan light spectacle internet you get hex chat kde connect onion share qtox quiet rss thunderbird and tor browser what you need to remember is that the tor browser lets you surf the internet completely anonymous let you know up here new to tor browser if you've got questions about it you just click on that we are presently in the onion network if i go up here and type a search like scepter. I'm doing this anonymously. And then if you look right here where it says where I'm at, it would generally say Dallas, Texas or Texas or someplace in Texas. It says that I'm in the Netherlands. The third door that I'm going through, how the Tor browser works is you actually go through three different links. You go to the first link, which sends you to the second link, which sends you to the third link. And when you come out of that third link, they can't trace you back three. So right now it's showing that my IP address is in the Netherlands. So if somebody were to look for me, they're going to think that whoever's doing this search is in the Netherlands, but they don't have an accurate 
secret IP address for them. So that's how the Tor browser works. So let's close out of that. If you're somebody that is very interested in security, the Tor browser is definitely the way to go. Multimedia, you got Elisa, K3B, KMix, Pulse Audio, VLC. Office, you got the LibreOffice Suite. Science and Math, Settings. Let's go to System Settings. We were just there to change the theme. And over here, you have plenty that you can change. You can change the plasma style on here if you would like to. Right now, we're running Breeze Dark. If you wanted to switch over to Oxygen, just click on it and apply. And if you look at the bottom, you have the Oxygen look now. Let's minimize this. See, you kind of got the different glass looking panel at the bottom and you kind of got some opacity to it. So let's open that back up. Application styles, colors, fonts. We've already changed the fonts. Icons, cursors. Go look at icons. These are the icons we're running right now. Breeze Dark. You can change them to anything up here. But let me go ahead and reiterate this. Global theme, plasma style, application style, colors, fonts, icons, cursors. If there's nothing in here that you like and you want something different, just go down here. It'll say get new icons or, or get new global theme. Just click on it and you've got thousands, literally thousands to choose from. So you can find something out there to customize your desktop to the way you want it. And then you've got workspace behavior, window management. There are so many different ways to customize KDE that you could get lost doing it. You can make your operating system yours and make it look exactly how you want to. So let's go back down to the menu. Then we've got system. You've got Debbie tool, which is your Deb Downloader, Dolphin, ISO Image Writer. If, if you're already running Linux on a system and you want to try out a different version, just download the ISO, open up Image Writer, throw in a USB, it'll write it to that USB. And you can be trying out a new Linux distro in less than 20 minutes. K Info Center, Console, K Card, K System, K Wallet, Print, Synaptic Package Manager. So it has a lot of powerful tools right out of the box. Scepter OS, you get the Tor browser, you can surf the web anonymously. If you're somebody that's worried about privacy and security, that's definitely a plus for you. And it's based on stable Debian, so you know it's going to be bulletproof. And it's got KDE desktop environment on top of it. Across Across the board, it's secure, it's safe, it's beautiful, it's stable. I don't know what else you would want from an operating system. Scepter OS. If it looks like something you might like, zip on over to their website, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine and take it for a spin. I guarantee you, you'll be happy. Please, before you go today, like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video.